think I smell FSR 2.0, guys. And I think it smells good. Anyway, um, what are we doing here? So this is interesting. So the, you know, lineup for the events at the Game Developers Con uh, Conference coming up soon here, March 23rd, is out. And there is a very interesting topic here. Next generation image upscaling for games presented by AMD. Well, what's that? Well, I would say there's a very good chance that this could be the first look at FSR 2.0. Now, let's be 100% clear here. FSR 2.0 is not something that we officially know about, but a lot of people are expecting is, is definitely on the way. And honestly, AMD would have to be insane not to be working on a better competitor to DLSS. So let's back up just a little bit here and make sure we're, we're all in the game on, on what exactly what exactly is FSR, DLSS, all of that. We've got XESS coming from Intel, so let's talk a little bit here. Okay, so upscaling techniques can work in a lot of different ways, and AMD has their Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which they very carefully branded as 1.0. And that's always been very telling that they're like, we're not done here. <laughs> because honestly, while FSR is a very good spatial upscaling technique, it is just a spatial upscaling technique, which basically means they have the image itself and they upscale that, right? So maybe you're on a 1440p screen, but you wanna run the game at 1080p to make it run faster. It takes that 1080p image, it upscales it. It might add in some of the post-processing effects, you know, afterwards at the native resolution, as well as like the menus and everything, great. But the overall upscaling of the base image is just taking that image's data into account. Now, that's very different than something like DLSS. DLSS, has access to more information. It has temporal data and motion vectors. In other words, it doesn't just have the exact scene in that image. It has access to information about what came before it, and that gives the algorithm more information to work with, which is a good thing. It also then uses a more advanced, you know, machine learning algorithm to do the actual upscale. So it's more of an actual reconstruction technique. It can add details into the image that aren't in the image when you're just looking at that one single frame. Now, this comes with both pros and cons for both methods. The biggest pro for DLSS is when running at lower resolutions or running at a high resolution like 4K, but rendering from a much lower resolution like 1080p, for example, you can actually get a really, really good upscaling reconstruction of what that native image should look like. Whereas FSR, because it relies just on the data in that actual image, tends to kind of fall apart when the actual image it's upscaling from isn't a high resolution image. So it does pretty well scaling up from like 1800p to 4K, right, to 2160p, but doesn't look quite as good upscaling from 1440p to 4K. And once you're doing like 1080p to 4K, or maybe you, oh, God forbid you're on a 1080p monitor and trying to upscale from lower than 1080p, it really doesn't look convincingly like the native image. It can do some nice tricks. It can try to, you know, detect where edges of objects are and sharpen them and blend them together. And honestly, at the really extreme settings, it kind of reminds me of like an oil painting um, where, you know, it looks kind of cohesive, but it certainly doesn't look like the native image and you absolutely are losing some details. Now, it does actually come with some huge advantages because it doesn't require all of those, you know, motion vectors and temporal data. It's easy to implement. And even um, as, since it's gone open source, you can even have programs like Magpie or Lossless Scaling, which can literally just apply it to anything. <laughs> um, you just run a window at less than your full screen um, resolution and it will use the FSR upscaling algorithm to upscale that image. 
And it, AMD themselves are working on applying that basic idea to their drivers with their RSR technique, which hopefully should come soon to give them better competition with NVIDIA's NIS uh, that they added to their drivers. Now, the big advantage to AMD's current technique with FSR 1.0 is definitely its ease of implementation. It's very easy to add to games, so you can get broad support and even the unofficial support. We'll see the driver support, all of that. Great, fantastic. Also, it doesn't add image artifacts that weren't already there, right? It's working with the data that actually is in the image that it's upscaling from. Whereas DLSS can actually cause image ghosting, where the algorithm can get a little bit confused and um, that can cause some problems. Um, now, DLSS isn't perfect either. And, and again, it can be harder to implement, although many ma major games are launching with DLSS support and it is getting back, uh, you know, backwards added in as support uh, into older games as well. So what do I think is going on here with this next generation image upscaling for games presented by AMD? So I really do think that this is FSR 2.0 um, and all signs point to AMD is definitely developing that. So one of the big questions then would be the support because if this really is gonna compete with DLSS, it really is gonna need access to the temporal data, the motion vectors and all of that which basically would make it more similar to DLSS and that would also bring in the cons of DLSS, it being harder to implement and add into games. Also, DLSS famously relies on NVIDIA's tensor cores in their RTX cards. So it's, it's locked down to, to cards that have that acceleration. Would AMD's FSR 2.0 be as widely, um, widely supported by as many graphics cards? And my guess would be the answer is no, although I think they will work to make it supported more broadly than DLSS is currently supported. Because this is actually reminding me more of the XESS approach that Intel has. Intel has basically no market share right now, at least in the discrete desktop GPU space. So when they're working on their XESS DLSS type, you know, machine learning algorithm with, for the upscaling, very DLSS like um, all of that, they understand that for de game developers to want to implement this in, the, in their game, they need to actually have that be worth their while. A, a number of, you know, the people playing the game need to actually have hardware that this can run on, which is why Intel worked carefully on making sure that there's a DP4A fallback. So it will be accelerated better on Intel GPUs, but it will still run on other GPUs from AMD and Nvidia. And I have a feeling that this is the approach that AMD will take with FSR 2.0. I think that they're going to design it to run really well on RDNA 3 architecture. But I think that they will make sure that it can also run on their older, you know, RDNA 2 lineup that we have right now, maybe even uh, older cards as well. But that doesn't mean it will run as well, meaning the performance gain that you get could be smaller because it's not able to run the algorithm as quickly on hardware that is not dedicated to it. And again, that's what we're expecting to see from Intel's XESS. And overall, my thoughts on this whole situation is that I really do think that um, these upscaling algorithms are really exciting. Obviously, I'd rather just run games at native resolution if we have the horsepower to do that. But if like with a little bit of upscaling that looks really close to native could make you run a game maxed out on settings, ray tracing at 4K, and now you're doing like 120 Hertz, 144 Hertz 4K, that the hardware just really maybe can't really do. But the upscaling can make it um, uh, actually look pretty good. I think that's awesome. The other good application for this would be as GPUs age, it can help keep them in the game longer. Like, no, you're not really maxing the game out at, <laughs> at maximum settings anymore, 
but the DLSS kind of lets you do that anyway, right? That, that kind of an idea. So I'm really excited for this kind of technology. Um, now, last thoughts here is what I've heard you know, in the rumor mill <laughs> about where DLSS is going, because I don't think they're gonna stop at their DLSS 2 versions. We've seen various 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, all of that going on. Um, I think that DLSS 3, I've seen a number of leaks and rumors about this, and, and I, I think this makes sense, might be designed to more specifically focus on reconstructing ray tracing to where in addition to just reconstructing the image itself, it could have a, a ray tracing focus where it, where it has a, um, a better ability to accelerate ray tracing, or maybe you don't need as many rays, and then this algorithm can reconstruct the ray tracing um, to make it look like you had traced a lot of rays when maybe you didn't, but the actual image you're seeing uh, looks just as good or nearly as good, but doesn't have anywhere near that kind of performance impact. Because um, that's really where I think we need to see with, with ray tracing. Because I've seen, in, as I've shown in my, in my recent videos, um, current ray tracing performance really isn't where I'd want it to be for it to be a really exciting feature. But if we start seeing both better upscaling techniques, maybe one specifically targeted at ray tracing even, and then just we're getting a new line of just even more powerful hardware coming out in the future as well. I'm really excited to see where all of this goes. Anyway, we'll find out more on March 23rd. I don't think that this is going to be the uh, a full like product launch or like, hey, we have FSR 2.0, it's out, it's ready to go. But I think we might start to see some of what they're thinking, right? I, I think this is just the early days. I would love to see FSR 2.0 launch with RDNA 3. And quite frankly, I think that if AMD doesn't get a better DLSS competitor out there, then RDNA 3 really better have a significant performance advantage and or much lower prices um, to compete with, with, with NVIDIA because um, RDNA 2 has been fantastic at catching up to the rasterized performance of NVIDIA, even beating them in power efficiency. I think their drivers are getting better, um, but DLSS really is impressive. And I'd like to see uh, AMD have a, a better solution than FSR 1.0. And that's why I'm so excited to see this. Uh, last thing I wanna do is thank, uh, I've got a, yet another member here, Adrian Valesco. Uh, joining us recently. And I'd also like to thank my longer term channel members. They've hit the join button down there, get access to cool little badges that increase over time with the duration of your membership. Uh, you get priority, uh, different tiers and perks and all that. I mean, in the end, you're, you're financially helping out my channel so I can like buy new graphics cards to test, bring you guys good info, all of that. Um, you know, early access to some of my videos, some members exclusive content, and all of that. You can hit that join button down there and take a look at, the, at, at what's available. And I hope all of you guys have an excellent day.